All right, so we have the Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom overview trailer. Let's get two videos. Let's go, man. I couldn't even eat breakfast yet, bro. I was literally about to go eat breakfast right now. Well, listen, it's a Zelda trailer. You, you know we got to be... Oh. Oh. When Link is stolen away, it's up to Princess Zelda to save her kingdom. Hey, that was a, that was a nice, accurate shot, though. The Legend of Zelda series. The Legend of Zelda echoes of wisdom yes sir this sprawling vibrant land is hyrule in the middle of a great field sits hyrule castle surrounded by hyrule castle town hey look at that water that this water looks crazy contains several different regions including a desert wetlands a volcano and sparkling this game waters. looks nice. It looks very clean, bro. Inhabited by their own distinct denizens. Mysterious rifts have appeared, tearing the land apart and swallowing up its inhabitants. Dang. Including the king of Hyrule. Bro, the king always going out bad, bro. Like that. <laughs> Left behind, the king is always going out bad. Ethereal creature called Tri, who gives her a mysterious staff called the Tri Rod. They then set off on a journey to save Hyrule. Look at Zelda in, uh, she's actually out in the field right now, okay. Using the tri rod, you can create imitations of things called echoes. Once you learn an echo, you can recreate it whenever you'd like. You can create echoes of useful objects, such as beds, or create echoes of monsters that'll fight by your side. Yeah. So I've already actually known about this part, actually. There's a wide range of echoes and a variety of ways you can put them to use. From finding imaginative paths forward Yo. to fighting your way across the land of Hyrule. Bro, I really like the way like this game looks. I'm gonna be Another honest with you. ability granted by Try is called Bind. Use it to make certain objects match Zelda's movement. Wait, what? I don't even know. Wait, what? Okay, I'm actively. You can use reverse bond on a moving object to follow its path. Okay, I didn't even know that. That's actually crazy. I like that. I didn't Whether even know that. Moving an object or moving with one, you're bound to come up with all sorts of ideas if you let your imagination run wild. Wow, I didn't even know that. That's Zelda crazy. Can also take on sword fighter form, allowing her to forge ahead when the path is blocked, strike down enemies, or battle alongside echoes. That's like the only time that she fights However, is with that sword. She can only stay in sword fighter form for a short period of time. How you choose to wield this power is up to you. The sword's gauge can be replenished by collecting energy found in the still world. Okay. Zelda can also make use of wind-up gizmos called automatons. Uh-oh. Try combining everything at your disposal to discover strategies and ways forward you might not have considered before. Zelda's wisdom and your creativity are the keys to this adventure. A tour of Hyrule. Okay. Bro, Zelda's actually out here in You'll the field. That's crazy. Many quirky characters during your travels keep track of quests they give you by browsing your adventure log whenever you'd like helping people with their troubles is a big part of your journey and wise heroes are often rewarded for their good deeds to aid you on these quests uh oh you can ride a horse uh oh we got a horse make smoothies with ingredients you've collected we over here making smoothies and obtain accessories or outfits to enhance Zelda's abilities and to look fashionable, obviously. Uh, I got more fashion. Still world. Uh oh. Uh oh. By stepping into the rifts to save those who have been stolen away, Zelda can explore the still world. She'll have to use echoes to traverse eerie, floating terrain as she ventures into this world's deepest depths. So like uh, you you might actually have to like use your imagination Massive to like get can places. Also be found in the still Honestly. Zelda will use her wisdom and echoes to take on enemies and puzzles that stand Yo, look in at her the way. fire, bro. Even the fire looks crazy. Then confront challenging bosses uh -oh. and await her arrival. Uh -oh. You'll need to use everything at your disposal to take on these foes. But the strategy is yours to develop. Is, is she taking a nat mid boss fight? The still world can be accessed through rifts scattered across Hyrule, 
and each entry point leads to a location with its own defining features. During her journey, Zelda must overcome dungeons within the rifts and the mysteries they hold. Without Link or the King of Hyrule, Hyrule's fate rests squarely in Zelda's hands. Yeah, uh, for uh, about time. It's her game. It's about time. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, he got clapped up. Adventure. It's up to Zelda to use her wisdom and save the kingdom of Hyrule as only she can. The Legend of Zelda. September of 26th. Available September 26th only on the Nintendo Switch system. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Oh, we can pre-order it? Nintendo Switch online members can save on this game with Nintendo Switch game vouchers. The Nintendo Switch Lite Hyrule Edition Ooh, system that looks nice. is also available for pre-order and will launch September 26th. Wait, this is like the light version? All right, here's what I'll say about this, right? First of all, this, this, it, this looks pretty cool. What I was like, what I'm going to say about this game is like, if you're like going to compare like, first of all, I think you're going to like it because I'm going to like it. And if, let's be honest with you. I'm from the people. So, you know, usually, I, it, but here's the thing. I'm not afraid to have my own opinion, even though I'm for the people, even though like, you know, um, you know, I, I definitely listen to like the people side or whatever. I'm still me, so I'm gonna have my opinion on on anything. Okay, I'm not gonna just go with the sheep or whatever. Okay, I'm, I'm still have my opinion. Um, I do like the last Zelda game that came out last year. That was Tears of the Kingdom. Obviously, it was like a standard Zelda game where you know Link comes through and saves like Hyrule from like Ganondorf and stuff like that. So, um, and, and to be honest with you, like obviously it came through with like a lot of mechanics, such as like the thing to where you can like penetrate through like different. Uh, like boulders and mountains and stuff like that. It was crazy. Um, and so obviously, like, they're implementing that uh, in this new game right here. And, uh, uh, bro, another thing is Zelda, she's actually out here. Zelda, she's not actually, like, bro, bro, Zelda, she's not captive anymore. Zelda, she's not locked up in, like, some prison cell um, in, in, like, Ganondorf's basement. Like, bro, she's actually, like, in the field. She's fighting. Well, I, wouldn't want, I don't want to say she's fighting. I mean, the only time she does fight is whenever she has, like, uh, like whenever, like, she has, like, uh, what do you call it, like, the sword. Um, and, but at the end of the day, like, she's still in the field. Like, we, we get to control Zelda, you know, for the first time. Not for the first time, but, like, uh, for, like, the first time in a long time. Because usually, you know, we're using, we, like, we're using Link to come through and, like, you know, um, come through and just, like, you know, save the day and stuff like that. So, the fact that we actually have Zelda out here is, is, is pretty crazy because she's, bro, she's always either, uh, captive, um, she's locked up somewhere at the beginning of the game. So we got to go save her. We got to save the town as well, you know, as Link. Um, she's never out, bro. She's never out in the field. So the fact that she's actually out here uh, is pretty cool. Another thing is, but this game looks really good. I don't know what type of art style. Like, I don't know, like, the actual official name of this art style. But um, this looks really good, bro. This looks really good. Um, something about it, it looks very, like, um, I don't know. It looks very, like, like pla I don't know how to describe this. So I'm just describing it, like, in a way that I can only uh, describe it as. It looks really good, just graphic-wise. It looks very, like, the art style. It looks very, like, plastic-like, but at the same time, it looks really good. Um, like, stuff like the water, the fire, that stuff looks very, like, um, it, it looks very, like, it, it looks like fire, in, in a way. It, it looks like, and the water looks very shiny. Um, and, again, you know, I don't know any of the big word terms for, like, stuff like this, but um, the game looks really, really good. It, it looks really good. I would definitely play it. Just because it looks good, though, doesn't mean that, you know, that the game's perfect or whatever. But, um, like, looking at this game, it looks, see, like, everything looks very clean and shiny and, like, decked out. Um, I, I could definitely play this game. And um, to be honest with you, bro, this, this game definitely looks nice. The boss fight seems like, I feel like the boss fights, I don't know why, but, like, this game is very, like, strategy-wise and stuff like that. So, I feel like the boss fights would definitely be a challenge, especially, like, if you're new to, like, Zelda. But... To be honest with you, I mean, the, the game still looks fun regardless. So comment down below. What do you guys think about this game? It comes out on the 26th. So hopefully you guys will uh, pick it up. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to your channel. And 